Uganda's plan is to construct the East African crude oil pipeline that runs from Uganda to Tanga in Tanzania have been at the center stage in recent weeks. This follows a resolution by European Union Parliament urging Uganda and Tanzania to delay plans of constructing the pipeline until all contentious issues on the compensation of landowners where the pipeline will pass, human rights and threats it will pose to biodiversity are squarely and reasonably settled. However, President Yuval Museveni, who was addressing an oil summit in Kampala, says members of the European Union Parliament are egocentric and selfish. So shallow, so egocentric, so wrong, but they think they know everything, broadcast their ignorance all over the place, but they should calm down. Because this is a, a wrong battleground for them. We, we don't take kindly to arrogance. That's why we, we spent so many years sorting out issues with arrogant people. According to Mseveni, Uganda and East Africa has people who are capable to handle matters of the region. When you go to this parliament, these are just young girls. Member of parliament, eh? you know. <laughs> you, you are lecturing me how, what to do in Uganda, you young girl. Eh? I think somebody should cancel those young people. At the summit, President Museven revealed he was initially opposed to the construction of the pipeline. It's a compromise on my part. Very, very big one. Because remember, when you, I pump the oil through the pipeline, I lose money. Because each barrel pays a fee of 12.7 cents for being pumped through the pipeline. So therefore, I encourage the oil companies to, to move on the two on the refinery and on the pipeline. The summit attracted stakeholders in the oil and gas sector from several continents. Energy and Mineral Development Minister Ruth Nankabiwa says the pipeline will not damage the environment and carbon emissions at the fields will be minimal. The world must be concerned more with emissions so that research is targeted to capturing carbon rather than suppressing development of petroleum because we do still need, and the world will continue for decades, need the need for petroleum uh, resources. Globally, countries have set a goal of ending carbon emissions by 2030 with a focus on carbon-free energy use. We accept that we need to transit, but we did not start at the same time, Uganda calls for understanding and patience so that we arrive where countries are now, those that are transiting. Uganda is said to have 6.5 billion barrels of crude oil. The Minister for Energy and Mineral Development, Ruth Nankabirwa, confirmed the first oil exploration will be in April in the year 2025. Ramson Muhire, CTVP Medition.